Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you for the opportunity to speak to you today at the Chilventa. My name is Marius Janikula. I'm over eight years with Baltimore Aircoil as sales manager in Germany. And it's a pleasure to tell you today about the European certification and why it should be given more importance. European certified equipment is a solid foundation for engineers and the must for sustainable cooling tower solutions. I will tell you later why. Let's first look at what the European certification refers to and what it involves. As mentioned here, it's an independent performance certification done through a third party. It's not the manufacturer's own certification program. As you may imagine, manufacturers tend to publish better data on paper than in reality. Okay. Okay. Here we talk about an independent certification program for standard factory package cooling tower product lines of open and closed circuit cooling towers. To participate in the program, the manufacturer agrees to record and submit all technical and physical data to the, cert to the certification company where the data are registered. In addition, the manufacturer must provide rating and selection data. The frame conditions and rules for design and certification are taken from the Cooling Technologies Institute from the United States. Okay. The test program itself consists of three major steps. The first is the qualification procedure. What does it mean? The independent agency will select one model in each product line to support the qualification thermal test, can be in a laboratory or a field test. The second is the repetition procedure or repetition test. And are there. In this phase, the performance conformity is verified on an annual basis. It is. The last step is the factory audit, also called cold test. It's a check of the selection software outputs, product and components to verify that the manufacturer builds the equipment accordingly to the published data. This slide shows the thermal testing, an example of the annual factory audit report and the web page where the customer can check whether the offered cooling tower is certified or not. There is full transparency for the customer. What are the benefits of European certification? It eliminates uncertainty because it's true data and it allows to compare apples with apples. It's like, the rule, it's like the rules in a football game. They are the same for both teams and the game starts with 0-0, not with 1 or 2-0 for one team. Start, uh, because it's real data, it achieves the customer energy efficiency expectations. Um, the customer will not buy an underperforming cooling tower. He can fully trust the manufacturer's data. <laughs> And as he can trust the data, he does not have to oversight the unit and to sp spend more money for a bigger cooling tower than needed. And finally, no um, expensive field test must be executed as the performance of the product is already certified. So true performance is needed. I will illustrate the importance of standardized performance certification certification using a practical example. This is a case study of a real battery factory project in East Germany, where 14 of our biggest open crossroad cooling towers have been delivered and installed. The summer conditions and duty for selection is 80 megawatts heat rejection, 35 degrees inlet temperature, 30 degrees outlet temperature, and 24 degrees wet bulb temperature. As in almost all projects in Germany, there are sound limits here, 94 dBA per cell. To achieve those sound data, the coolers have whisper quiet fans and the largest available motor size, which is 75 kW. Here at the right side, you see the load profile for one cooler, less heat load during colder days and full capacity towards hot summer days. 
So, um, the next slide shows the annual annual energy use in megawatt hours for our certified unit compared to an uncertified and the annual energy use of the chiller shown in the gray field. Yeah. Again, both the cooler and the chiller data are real. The uncertified unit consumes more energy, but also affects the performance of the chiller in a negative way. The uncertified unit consumes, oh, sorry, this, ah, it's because the um, uncertified unit has to work harder over the year to reach the required temperatures. And as it often does not even reach the required temperatures, the chiller is less efficient and consumes more energy. The co consequences are high annual energy cost, as you can see here. Um, for the energy cost, we considered a realistic energy price of 17 cents per kilowatt hour, which is the current price, average price in Germany. So next slide shows the investment cost. We assume the investment cost for the certified unit to be higher, although it's not always the case. It depends on the conditions of a project, like for example, sound requirements or other criteria. It may be that our certified unit is even cheaper due to certain advantages I will mention later. However, for the case study, we assume that. So what about the operation cost over a period of 10 years? You see here the green line is representing the higher investment cost for the certified product. We realized the costs are recovered after almost one year of operation. To be precise, it's one year and two months. After 10 years, it becomes even clearer that you have much higher operation cost with an uncertified unit. So let's summarize. We have true and transparent data. We have regular checks and we have same rules for our, all participants. So is there any reason for the customer not to insist of cert on certification? I, think, I don't think so. Is certification of thermal performance only for niche markets? No, it's serving all markets, as you can see here. So we give an overview, um, HVAC, refrigeration, power and process, and manufacturing, so you will find it everywhere. In the following, in the following, we will see some of our references, references of certified equipment in different applications. The first is an automotive installation in South Germany. There are five open cooling towers installed. Why did the customer decide to install cross-flow cooling, cooling towers from our S3000 series? First, the units are certified. There was confidence in performance. You see air unit attenuators at the in air intake site. It is an extreme low sound solution for a tower with axial fans. There is a whisper quiet fan installed, operating with low fan speed and low energy consumption. The advantage of such a crossword tower is there is no water splash noise because the water is trickling down the fill. So you can see it here. So it's not falling, but it's really trickling down the fill into the cold water basin. So there is no need to install splash absorbers, which I personally, personally don't like. You know, a cooling tower is an air washer and the dirt ends up in the absorber. This can cause hygiene problems and the customer didn't want that. He also liked the accessibility to all components. It's possible to access the water distribution, the nozzles, the cold water basin, the fill, and all mechanical parts. It's even possible to clean the fill without dismantling it. The customer appreciated all the advantages and opted for this project, uh, for this product, not just for this project, but for a number of other projects in the meantime, and hopefully in the future. 
The next reference is a hospital installation in Spain. There are four open cooling towers from our S1500 series. It has the same advantages as the previous. The differences are there is only one air intake site and two or three fans and motors, which gives redundancy in case of failure. Good. So you see here again a huge plenum, a huge plenum to access the unit. Again, all components are accessible. It is possible to inspect and clean the film. It is not a black box as many other products, low maintenance and easy inspection plus unmatched hygiene control. And unmatched hygiene control is very important for such a sensitive installation at the hospital. Another open cooling tower, again Eurovent certified from our PTE series. It's a counterflow tower installed on a concrete basin. It is a manufacturing plant in Poland. The advantages of the PTE, it is very compact. Yeah. Um, here is again the hospital, an installation in UK, an open cooling tower with centrifugal fans pushing the air through the unit. Those fans can overcome high pressure and can be better enclosed with air attenuators, uh, sound attenuators. Very low sound values are realistic, which is very important for a hospital. All right. um, here is a shopping mall uh, in Serbia where again open cooling towers are installed. These are so-called low-profile cooling towers with centrifugal fans. Those coolers have again the same advantages as the previous. The motor and the fan are at the bottom and easy to reach. This VTLE unit has a very low height and is often chosen for indoor installations or roof installations at public buildings as it's not visib visible from the ground. Here is the first uh, closed circuit cooling tower reference of our Apex VS series. It's for a steel plant in Germany where the customer initially opted for a closed circuit system because he made neg negative experiences with open systems. Steel plants are not the cleanest places and this solution ensures that it, that it does not catch any dirt in the system. Here too, the customer was very impressed of our product and decided to install those coolers for another project in another location. The advantages of the FX VS series are again accessibility. So you see the big inspection doors here. Oh. You see the big inspection doors to enter the unit. The air and water both come from above. The heat transfer at the coil is mainly sensible, which means less scaling on the coil and full performance over a longer period. This is an installation in Saudi Arabia. Eight closed coolers from our FXVT series. Again, the same advantages as the previous towers, but much more capacity. There are two heat exchangers or two heat exchanger coils at each side but only one fan in the center. It has a big inspection doors and as the other products, walkways, ladders and platforms inside the unit to access all critical components. Here, this is a very innovative product from our Polaris series. It's for an installation in uh, Morocco. It's a hotel. It's a certified closed circuit cooler with radial EC fans. It's a direct driven, it's direct driven and the fans require no maintenance at all. A so-called so diamond clear system offers a continuous self-cleaning operation and guides the water into the very small cold water basin. A small volume of water reduces the chemical usage. Two large access doors are included for easy access to all critical components. So you are invited to come to our booth to see such a Polaris because it's, um, we show it there. And another very innovative product, this is our Nexus. I don't think there is anything comparable on the market. 
It's a modular system. You see here, five modules put together for one unit. For critical installations where, for example, a helicopter is required, the Nexus could be a cheap solution as it fits in a freight elevator. The heat exchanger is not a coil, but stainless steel plates. That means no, passiva no passivation is required at all. The water basin is access accessible from outside. So you see here, this is the water basin. So it's not inside, it's outside. The amount of water inside the unit is low, which again reduces the chemical usage. There is also a diamond clear system in a continuous self-cleaning operation. It has EC fans, which exceed the required or the requirements of efficiency, i.e. 4. The energy saving compared to a centrifugal, to centrifugal fans is up to 40%. It's possible to swing out the fan system. So here you see the fan system here, so it's possible to swing it out for easy access and uh, inspection. And it, as with the Polaris, it requires uh, no maintenance at all. It's a plug and play system with much more advantages. I suggest you to read on our webpage. So let's finish the presentation with the last sentence. Uh, choosing Eurovent certified products ensures superior thermal performance, helping you save on cost while promoting a more sustainable environment. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Any questions? Good. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, so the the difference in cost is, um, you mean operational cost? No, no, no. The, the the energy. Oh, they need some of working high or summer. Ah, okay, okay. So, yeah, our experience is that you know that, and this was also the assumption for the for this case study, that if you buy an uh, uncertified unit, that it's regularly smaller and cheaper than a certified unit. So, and we see that the difference in performance is up to 20%. So that means you buy a 20% smaller unit and you spend less money, but you will have then higher operational costs because it will never reach the, temp the same temperatures. And it's, also, it's not only affecting the, 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 I mean, the operation of the cooling tower or the cooler, but, but also of the chiller because the chiller performance will be smaller due to the lower te cold water temperatures. So this is the reason. Why? Well. No question? <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh, yeah. Last one. The machine quickest challenge to the market. We have 35 product. Uh, in total, selling good product in, into the market. That's the biggest challenge. Yeah, I think the biggest challenge is to really to convince the customers and to explain what certification means. And I think, you know, this presentation, for example, is one tool to explain to the customer that the, the you know, the sense of certification. And this is what we do also in our sales process that we try to specify and mention in the specification that our units are certified, but also to explain the customer the benefit that he turns to be open for certified cooling towers. So I think this is the biggest challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you.